All right, welcome everybody to uh, my new format, I guess you could say, of how I review boots. And this segment is called Boots and Beers, where we review boots while having a beer. All right, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is my second take on this boot. And if you tell by the title, it's the Phantom Venom Elite Techcraft. And I started to do the review. Um, as you know, if you're familiar with the Techcraft, um, you know that it's a kangaroo leather. Basically, it's the the shoe in a kangaroo leather upper. Um, so the Mercurio series, I did a review on it already. I really didn't like it, but I will. Get, I might give it another chance. Um, and now I'm doing the Phantom Venom Elite um, that I was gonna give it a chance. Um, but my thing, while I was doing the review, I threw the box to the side, pulled out the shoes. So let's look at the shoes. I was going in depth in it, showing the sole plate, how I think it's awesome. I think it's really good. Talking about the premium kangaroo leather. Pull one out. Pull the other, show it off, you know, the whole the whole nine yards, talking about it, talking about it and what it is. And I was already at the point of comparing it to the other Phantom Venom, which I'm gonna still do in this video. And then I opened this up, and if you can see, I see a little sticker that I don't understand what it's doing there. And you can see it right there, that little black spot right there. So I'm like, what is that? Why is there a black sticker? And the sticker reads, it says upper contains synthetic leather. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up, but there it is, upper contains synthetic leather. I'll show this camera as well. And I don't know what part has synthetic leather. Um, now it has me wondering about the boot in general. Um, are they lying to us? Have they been lying to us? Because, let's see. Let's see what the tag says, first of all. Usually that'll say something. And here, um, Oh, this is just saying that the bottom is gonna wear off, which is really cool. I think that that part is really cool, but I wonder what color is under it. And if you, okay. So any other boot that you get, it does say if it's kangaroo leather or not. Um, so we're been told that it's kangaroo leather. And usually I just make the purchase without even thinking about it. But I went to the website and I looked up the boot and the details right here, as you can see, the details say, finesse for speed, natural touch. The Nike Phantom Venom Elite Techcraft Firm Ground is engineered for powerful, precise strikes that win games. Bridges on the instep create spin to control the flight of the ball while premium kangaroo leather is left unstitched for a touch unlike any other. Benefits of the boot are soft, Premium kangaroo leather is left unstitched for a touch unlike any other. Ridges on the instep help create spin for powerful precise strikes. Hyper reactive plate features a flexible forefoot for responsive stability and quick cuts. <sighs> Nowhere there does it say that there's synthetic leather. So my question is, where is the synthetic leather? Is it in the inside? Is it in this part? Because I really, I'm really curious to know, Nike. Um, I haven't seen too many reviews on this one, boot, but I wonder then, is that the same case for the Mercurial then? Because that boot didn't feel very premium to me at all versus even a Premier. The Premier felt way softer to me. Um, and actually I have a Premier here right now too that I'm gonna pull out, but um, let me grab that just to compare the leathers on these two, this premium kangaroo leather. I'll be right back. Okay, so 
As we know on the Premiere, it's kangaroo leather. Probably, I think it's just right here in the front where the premium leather is at. Um, versus, try not to spear the beer, because that's important, like I said. But, take out the paper, which is also, they're stuffed with paper and not with that cardboard thing, which, I don't have a problem with that, that's whatever, but it just, maybe they don't want it to mold or something, but. Okay, so here we have two different boots. This is, this feels real soft and crinkles, even if it's just in the front. This one, it feels almost just like a plastic, like a synthetic upper. And that totally makes sense. I don't understand. Even this part, I think, still feels softer than this whole boot. So, Nike, I, I don't understand. I don't know what part is synthetic and what isn't. Um, I don't think if they were talking about the inside of the boot synthetic, I don't think they would say anything about that. What, what would they need to? Because it's the performance of the boot that matters. So, I don't know. <laughs> if these aren't comfortable, then I may have to return them and also, like I said, all in all my other shoes that I've ever done that are leather, whether they're basketball shoes, Jordans, Nikes, whatever, when it says leather, you can smell it. And these just don't have a smell at all. So it makes me question as to what is leather and what is synthetic leather. Do we have any kangaroo leather at all? And you know on their boots, they have that little symbol if it's leather and this one does not have it and it almost seems like they just coated uh whatever like a regular phantom venom and they coated it with this synthetic fake leather <laughs> upper um but anyways i don't know if that's enough to take away from the boot what it's supposed to be because synthetics are pretty great now too my only problem with it is if it's not something that it's supposed to be, why even say that in the first place type thing? Um, Nike, I don't know what happened. <laughs> but let's compare this one to the regular Phantom Venom that I have right here. And besides the color, <laughs> besides the synthetic kangaroo leather, whatever, um, you can see right here in the toe box area, it's a little bit more... Um, raised up on the, the TechCraft version. I don't know if this camera can pick it up. But as you can see, it's a little bit thicker. Maybe not too much of a problem because it's not wider, I wouldn't say. I think they're about the same width. And you, as you know, if you have pretty wide feet, the Phantom Venom is probably the boot for you. It's on par with the Mercurial as far as a good boot. So if you have wider feet and you want the Mercurial but you just can't wear it because it's so tight, definitely try the Phantom Venom. Um, and other than the, the width of that, it is a little bit heavier. I can tell without the paper, even it's still heavier. And this has the, the plastic thing inside of it. So it's not because of that. Um, so yeah, I mean, those are the differences between the regular version and, and the TechCraft version. But now I'm left wondering is what is the synthetic leather? Because in the description, there's no say about synthetic leather and that sticker's clearly there, and there's no sign of it saying that it's kangaroo leather like when you get with the the temple. Um, it comes with a little tag saying that it's, you know, premium kangaroo leather. Even the, I think, if I remember, I think the temple or the Premier did as well. So, I'm a little disappointed in that. Um, I'm going to have to do a play test on them. But now that it's cooling off, I think I will be able to get out there just because... I can only really do play tests on turf and it's always so hot and that these are black, that would be crazy to do. I also am using my wireless, the Go uh, wireless microphone. So hopefully that sounds good. Um, and I'll be using that for my reviews. Um, like I said, I'm, in previous videos, I'm just trying to upgrade and be better for you guys. Um, to all my new subscribers, thank you. Uh, hopefully you enjoy this video. I'm left a little confused and stunned, honestly, um, because to me, this is the same exact boot as this, just with the uh, coating of, I'm gonna call it synthetic leather until someone tells me different or shows me proof, 
that it is kangaroo leather. Um, I'm gonna say synthetic leather. So if you're looking for, you know, a, a real kangaroo leather, obviously go for the temple. Um, even Puma's, the Puma King, which I do have. I'm just waiting to do a review on it. Um, but this one, that, I don't know. I wish I could reach out to somebody at Nike, even though I work for them, like I have no way of accessing like corporate or anything like that, or, or just trying to see why, what it is, what it really is. That, that leaves me um, really stunned and shocked as to understanding if this is kangaroo leather or not. Uh, I did see uh, SR4U, he reviewed it. He said it was a leather. So maybe it is, I'm not sure. Um, but I definitely know if I keep this boot, I'm gonna black this Nike swoosh out and black this part out uh, just because I'm a habit of blacking everything out. Also, I wanna tell you guys, so when I ordered these boots, I realized that you have 60 days now, or at least they gave me 60 days. I don't know if that was a mistake, but 60 days to try stuff with Nike and you can still return it dirty, use, it doesn't matter. So that just gives you more of an incentive to get out there and, and, and purchase these boots and try them. Try them out, give them a try and take them back to your local store or send them back online. It doesn't matter, you know. If Nike's giving you that option, take advantage of it. You know what I'm saying? Try, maybe you're in between deciding which boot you should wear or, or what you should try. Even if you wanna do, even if you wanna go for like, maybe you wanna order a, a high-end boot and then a, a mid-tier boot. And it, if that does it for you, if you like the mid-tier over the, the high-end, then go with that. So maybe you should order both to kind of test them. I know I don't review um, uh, anything other than the higher-end boots, but just because, you know, I, I don't want to, I mean, I don't want to be wasting my money and my time doing that. I don't think you guys are interested in that. Other people probably review those, but I don't. So um, my camera just shut off up top. So that means I'm talking too long. All right. So this is my review on the TechCraft. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to try to investigate and do more research on this and see if it is, in fact, kangaroo leather or if it is just a synthetic leather. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys in the next one with more content and videos. And of course, more beard and boots or boots and beard. Peace.